grateful for the return of togetherness as last year the COVID-19 pandemic curtailed our usual celebrations. The deadly virus and emerging variants continue to be a very real threat to our existence. Therefore, even as we embrace the festivity of the season, our actions must be responsible and in keeping with the recommended protocols. We will continue to rely on the combination of our individual and collective efforts to keep us safe. Sisters and brothers, the Christmas season affords us an opportunity to reflect on the experiences of the past year, while at the same time to anticipate what the coming year will bring. And as we look back with gratitude, we also pray for the comfort of those who are grieving the loss of loved ones. Last Christmas, we didn't envision that at the end of 2021, we would still be in the middle of this pandemic. Nevertheless, here we are. And as we look with great expectation towards 2022, let us commit to being better advocates of Christianity and strengthen our resolve to be our brother's keeper. For it is said in Matthew 25 verse 40, and I quote, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did it for me, unquote. Christmas is a time of giving, a time of compassion. My cabinet colleagues and I feel extremely honored to have been able to add some value to the true meaning of these characteristics of the season. The recent decision to provide additional pay to frontline workers and all other public officers was made knowing it required a significant sacrifice on the part of government. But we were convinced of its necessity as a token of our sincere appreciation. And what better timing than right before the Christmas holidays? We truly hope that this gesture will make the load a little lighter, the Christmas a little merrier, and the New Year a little brighter. COVID-19 presented a formidable challenge, not just for us in Grenada, but around the world. Throughout 2021, the Ministry of Health, backed by its reliable stakeholders, mounted an equally formidable response against this unforeseen but lethal and dangerous enemy. Even when the challenge heightened and kept climbing rapidly to an unnerving crescendo that claimed many lives, the counterattack was equally persistent and relentless. And that saved thousands of lives. With the recent identification of a new and even more challenging variant, 2022 could very well see an extension of this battlefield. The difference is there is ammunition that is available with several vaccine options with which we can protect ourselves and our loved ones. In disaster management, we speak a lot about building resilience. There have been several periods in Grenada's history where our people have demonstrated that the word resilience is almost a defining characteristic of being Grenadian. This pandemic is helping to showcase even more examples of how resilient we are as a country and as a people. Therefore, we look to the future with much optimism and faith. Faith, it is said, can move mountains. So while we work together, to move the proverbial mountain that COVID-19 represents, we must at the same time continue to pool our efforts in combating the effects of climate change and environmental degradation. The coming year presents an opportune moment to reaffirm our commitments to the actions that will safeguard our world for future generations and accelerate climate action as agreed at the recent United Nations Climate Change Summit in Glasgow. 
The youth represents the future. They are the leaders of tomorrow. This administration has long advocated for and facilitated youth empowerment. Recognized as an overarching pillar of our growth and development, 2022 will see continued emphasis on creating opportunities for our young men and women to better position them for leadership roles in driving the development agenda. Leaders are teachable. They embrace learning and recognize that it's pivotal in shaping lives. Our students are among those most impacted by the pandemic. They fought incredibly hard during the past year and have reaped the rewards through continued good performances in external exams. Going into the new year, we pray for their continued resilience and success in scholastic achievements and other spheres of their lives. We pray that our students, in fact, all Grenadians, all stakeholders in education, are comforted by the promise made in Isaiah 41, verse 10, and I quote, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Our resilience as a people is inextricably linked to the goal of improved food security. During the pandemic, when borders were closed, we witnessed a rebirth of the agriculture sector. It is imperative that we harness this resurgence as we continue to chart the path towards sustainable development and healthier living for the people of Grenada, Cariacou, and the Pitti Martinique. Sustainability has become a key development watchword and tourism is well recognized as a pillar of economic survival. In the new normal created by the pandemic, the sustained recovery of this sector will play a critical role in the revival of the local economy. We are pleased to see that visitors still regard us as a safe, much sought after destination. The recent return of cruise tourism and growth in stayover arrivals illustrate the attractiveness of our pure Grenada. Already blessed with the inherent beauty of a tropical paradise, Grenada must ensure that its infrastructural development complements and enhances its natural appeal and positions the country for further development. Activity in this sector will continue to be the leading contributor in COVID-19 response effort, while at the same time creating thousands of jobs and putting food on the tables of many Grenadians. This government is deeply concerned about the welfare of the people, particularly as they face the psychosocial toll of this pandemic. Our concern has repeatedly translated into the actions that address the basic needs of the most vulnerable. The economic relief measures announced in the 2022 budget and the expansion of our social protection programs show quite clearly that we care. We not only talk the talk, but we walk the walk. Government is equally committed to the growth of the small business sector and we reaffirm this with a massive allocation of resources as part of the economic stimulus package. Much of this will be implemented in the year ahead as we continue to foster an environment that facilitates the growth of micro, small and medium-sized enterprises. Ultimately, more of our people will be empowered to provide for themselves and to spur activity in the local economy. To be truly effective, recovery must take place at multiple levels, and we are seeing evidence of this across the various sectors. Our sportsmen and women and cultural artists are once again able to represent Grenada on the world stage and they have been doing so with unrivaled alacrity. We applaud their efforts thus far, and in 2022, we expect to witness more of their exploits as ambassadors of this country. 
It was in 2004 that we first heard the phrase, a crisis is a terrible thing to waste. The ongoing global crisis presented an opportunity for us to embrace available technology and advance the transformation to a digitized environment. This continues to be a work in progress, and there is an unwavering commitment to better position our country and people for the opportunities of this technologically advanced era. Development is inclusive and it is holistic. No one should be left behind. This government has made a concerted effort to ensure that development of the sister islands keep abreast of what's happening on mainland. There are many examples which give testament to the success of these efforts. And in some instances, developments on the sister isles have actually surpassed the pace of development in Grenada. The government of Grenada embraces its responsibility to spearhead the development of our country. In like manner, we lead the country's fight against COVID-19. However, our response efforts were blustered by the support of many friendly countries and organizations. In particular, I want to express our deep appreciation to the diaspora who reached out in our time of need. In this season of gratitude, we once again express our profound appreciation for our regional and international friends who continue to support us on this journey. External support would always be welcomed and appreciated. But the true merit of any government will lie in its ability to harness its own resources to advance the growth and development of its people. And this is exactly what this government has done through astute management of the local economy and supported by the tremendous sacrifices made by the Grenadian people all. And as we continue to steer this country along the path of development, we look to the Almighty Father to be the beacon that guides us in maneuvering the turbulence of COVID-19. We therefore look to 2022 with a much hope and optimism in anticipation of the fulfillment of Romans 15 verse 13, which reads as follows. May the God of hope fill you with all the joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with the hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Merry Christmas to one and all. And we pray for God's continued guidance and blessings in 2022. Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and goodwill to all. God reward the stay faithful. God loves a cheerful giver. To whom much is given, much is expected. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us. Count your blessings and embrace the joy of the season. This is a season to be merry and be jolly, but let us not forget that Christ is the reason for the season. Our holidays are more joyous, knowing we are all playing a part in keeping our tri-island safe. Be your brother's keeper. We are stronger with your support. To our frontline workers, you continue to push through amidst the global pandemic. Thank you for your dedication and support. This Christmas, let us pray that the dark clouds of the pandemic fade away and we are all able to transition to our new normal. Warm wishes to you this Christmas. May you and your loved ones stay safe from the pandemic and celebrate this season and life with high spirit. I want to wish everyone in Grenada a happy Christmas and to the people of the town of St. George, do have a happy Christmas and please stay safe. And to the farmers and agricultural workers throughout Grenada, I wish you well over this season. The greatest gift of all this holiday season is spending time with family and friends. Let us make sure that as we do this, we know our status, 
we test and we make sure that the gift of love, the gift of friendship, the gift of time with each other is the only gift we share with each other. May we all enjoy a healthy, bright and prosperous 2022. Merry Christmas to all. Thank you.